right, everybody, we got another dynamic opportunity. We're taking it all the way to the Ohio State with the men of Lambda Phi Epsilon. I got my guy Kenny here today. We're going to rock out with this opportunity to celebrate some of the recruitment success. So, Kenny, can you introduce yourself and your role within the fraternity? Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kenny Vo, um, and I am uh, a brother of Lambda Phi Epsilon at the Ohio uh, State University, as she said. Um, I was one of the founders. Uh, I we recently charted in 2020, and um, I just been a part of the growth process as we continue to be a part of the community as, uh, on campus, yeah. All right, so I talked to your advisor, and he was just as excited as I was when he told me that y'all brought in seven new men, right? So yeah. that's an exciting opportunity. And so I would love to kind of hear some of your narrative and some of how you got that success. Because I know we've had a partnership with you all. We've done some training and some consultations. And I know some of our core philosophies. I would kind of just kind of want to lean in with you to see how you put those pieces together. So one of the aspects we talk about is you can't recruit who you don't know. So talk to me about how your chapter expanded that opportunity to get the success you have. Yeah, so um, something our chapter here at OSU really pushes for is being leaders within the community. Um, so a lot of our brothers um, hold le leadership positions in different organizations, whether it's being presidents, uh, uh, vice presidents, or any other position that a board may um, have. Uh, we, uh, we do occupy um, a lot of those positions and become active members within the community. And so we're constantly engaging with our, um, the community and like everyone that's in it. Um, so that we are one advertising ourselves, but also like um, getting to know like the quality people within the community as well. So that's what that's something that we really do push and try to um, strive for our chapter. So being a part of community, a lot of your relationships are based on those relationships you have. And so talk to me about how you form those intentional relationships with some of your people. Yeah, um, something that we really strive for is. A consistent conversation um, and making sure that we're actively um, engaged in conversations, whether it's um, with someone that we just have met or uh, someone that we're continuing to uh, kind of like create a long lasting relationship with. Um, we want to make sure that we're putting our most authentic selves first and engaging ourselves because um, no one wants to kind of have conversations with uh, kind of a robot that just kind of spews the same information back and like to everybody. We want to have uh, these meaningful uh, conversations where we get to know the people and really create those connections because that's where those connections really stem from and those are the people that will want to keep coming back and getting to know us more because if we put our resources into other people they would want to put the resources into us. Okay so you talked about this whole robotic you know thing <laughs> we don't want to be you know sense of we're scaring people right sometimes like we do these calls we do these strolls and salutes but Talk to me about, when you talk about being more normal, What how is that important to you all as a fraternity and how y'all build relationships with people? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, something that we also very want to push is uh, to be our most authentic selves. So whenever we're occupying space or holding space where people are engaging with us, we want to make sure that we're being true to ourselves and our personalities. Uh, we don't want to uphold any like kind of stereotype or just like play a stereotypical role just because we are a part of a quick letter organization. Um, like some, uh, we really value like men and just people being the most authentic selves because we obviously live in a society where we're kind of like put up to an expectation already. And it's kind of hard to be put like uh, attend these events and like kind of put like, a mask on and mm -hmm. it doesn't really show their true, um, their true colors and um, personalities that they might like be so proud of like to be like so proud to have developed over all those years and mm -hmm. it's just not fair for people to kind of live through a hard life and still pretend to be someone that are not so we really try to push for these authentic spaces and something that I make we make sure that we do to like, kind of uphold these spaces uh, do that ourselves like be most our most authentic selves when we're talking to people and we really like pushing that narrative I, that that's the right way to put it well that definitely makes sense i think in the time of about 30 seconds if you can wrap up the value of recruitment you all have success with seven men and that's a quality line to bring in and kind of bring it in home for the people what's the message you want to tell them in the value of doing dynamic recruitment um i think in a most concise way um it's really just 
be who you are and people will come to you because no one wants to join an organization that is kind of a facade and does stuff just because it's like cool or like it's a standard. People want to join authentic people and tell authentic stories and be genuine with themselves and their actions. So I guess just be genuine when you recruit and search for new members. All right. So y'all, you heard it from Kenny. You heard it from the best. They're doing some amazing things at the Ohio State. So shout out to all of our MGC and MPAC communities, but special shout out to the men of Lambify Epsilon and congratulations on your seven new men.